Welcome. Are you finding it difficult to track how good your recruiting process is? Are you hearing terms like people analytics, recruitment KPIs, recruitment funnel, but not sure how to get that for your HR organization? Are you interested in cutting down the recruitment cost and time, but not sure where to start? Do you want to know which investment choices you should be making when it comes to application sourcing channels and how to improve conversion rates? Do you want to easily learn from best practices that may be happening in one part of the company and use it to implement across the entire company? If you believe optimized recruitment processes can only be afforded by large companies, I'm here to present a simple and effective process that you can use to track recruiting in your company using one simple Excel file. My promise to you is that after you download this template, within 15 minutes, you will have a clear and simple streamlined process. You will spend less time in data entry and more time working with your hiring managers and candidates. You will have instant access to all the recruitment KPIs for your HR organization. You will have amazing insights, like how long does it take to fill a position in your company? Why does it take that long? How can I reduce the time it takes to fill? Which application sources are the best in terms of quantity and the quality? You can identify departments or hiring managers who are really doing well in the KPIs and learn from the best practices and implement across the company. You can present all this rich, insightful information to your company leadership anytime on demand because everything is automated. Now let's start with the process. Step number one is defining your recruitment process. Define the stages in your recruitment process. I have entered in this example seven different stages. Customize this according to your company's recruitment process. Define the different sources through which you receive applications to your openings. Enter the reasons why you may decline the applications. Also, why the candidates may decline your offer. This is a one-time setup. Step number two, enter the jobs or vacancies that you have in your company. A job opening can be entered by a simple one single row in this jobs table. We enter the job ID, which is a unique identifier for a job, job title, and then the job attributes such as job location, hiring manager, recruiter name, and so on. Enter the job posted date, the date when you posted the job in the market. Enter the number of positions you have open. If you have more than one position open, you can enter that in the positions column. Enter the status as open because we are still hiring for this job. Step number three, when a candidate sends an application to this opening, then we will record that in the applications table. Enter the job ID, the candidate name, and the channel in which we receive the application from, and then the date on which we receive the application. Really simple, it only takes a few seconds, that's it. Step number four, as candidates are up going through the progression of the stages, record the progress by entering just the date in which each candidate reached the specific stage. If a candidate doesn't reach a stage, then leave it blank. Enter the notes in the comments column, brief notes about what's the strength and what's the weakness about each of those applications. These comments will come in handy in the next step. Step number five is reviewing the applications and making a decision. Use the job report to review the notes or the comments for all the different candidates for a job and then make your decision. In the applications table, we can go back and enter the status of the application. So if an application or a candidate is hired, we change it to hired and record the cost of hiring. If a specific candidate is not hired, we change the status accordingly and then enter the declined reason. When all the openings for a job are filled, 
we go back and mark the status of the job as completed. That's it. This is the entire recruitment process. Really simple, takes very little data entry. With the data we entered, the template calculates all the KPIs automatically behind the scenes and can be viewed anytime. So regularly view the dashboard and be aware of the recruitment KPIs for your organization. Every single part of this dashboard has been carefully built with only one goal in mind. You should be able to take effective decisions to improve the recruitment process in your company. Let's take a look at some of the insights you can get. You will have access to the hiring efficiency KPI, such as time to fill an opening, cost per hire, and more. Keep an eye on these monthly trends of the KPIs to make sure that you're heading in the correct direction. Know if there is a bottleneck in your recruitment process. Is there one specific stage which is taking a long time to fill and that's delaying the overall time to fill? You can find that easily in this dashboard. Know which sources contribute the most in terms of the quantity of hires. Quality of applications is an extremely important thing to monitor. You can look in this dashboard what the offer rates are. Basically, of all the applications you received, what percentage did you actually offer? And out of those, what percentage actually accepted the offer? Resulting in an overall hired percentage, which is of all the applications you received, what percentage ended up being a hire? The recruitment funnel gives you great insights. If, for example, you're losing candidates at the early stages of your funnel, it indicates the lack of fit of the applications to the job. On the other hand, if you're losing a lot of candidates in one specific later stage, like a technical interview, it tells us that there is a specific skill that is missing in these applications or candidates, or it's hard to find in the market. You can also look at the quality of the applications by the sourcing channel. This will help you compare the percentage hired across the different sources to identify which sources are most effective in terms of quality. The decline reasons where you decline the candidates will help you find out what was missing in the applications. The decline reasons by the candidates to your offers will indicate what is missing in your offer or the job. At any point of time, you want to make sure you're on top of all the open positions currently in your company, as well as how many applications are pending. This also serves as a reminder to make sure that you are cleaning up the old applications by making decisions and informing the candidates of the status of those decisions. Finally, to learn about the best practices that are happening in your company, you can analyze all these KPIs by department or hiring manager or location and so on to identify what's working well, contact those locations or areas and find out what they are doing differently and then try to implement this across the rest of the company. That's it. Very simple process with minimal data entry, but rich insights about your recruitment process at your fingertips. You can download this template and get everything set up within 15 minutes and take control of tracking recruitment in your company. Our templates are backed by 100% satisfaction guarantee. Download now, simplify your process and save time. We have a dedicated support portal with step-by-step -step instructions on how to use this template and also answers to frequently asked questions. You can also reach out to us at support at inzara.com with any questions. Please check out our collection of HR templates. The links are provided in the description below. I'll see you soon in another video with another simple and effective solution. Thank you very much for watching.